Mapping a NAS or Network Attached Storage Drive The following tutorial will help you map a drive letter to your Network Attached Storage device. If you are uncomfortable with this process or unsure how these changes will affect your current network setup, it is recommended that you consult your IT professional or network administrator. Mapping a network drive to a NAS device is a fairly quick process in newer versions of Windows. First, you need to know how to identify the device that you want to map a drive to. You can use either the device's host name, which is commonly written on a label on the case, or IP address. Consult the manufacturer's instructions for adding the device to your network and determining how to identify it. Once you have the info and completed the setup, you're ready to start mapping the drive. For any Windows computer, you need to access the Map Network Drive function. This can be done by opening Computer. To display the computer icon on Windows 8, right-click the desktop and select Personalize. Then click Change Desktop Icons in the top left. Check the box next to Computer and apply the changes. The computer icon will display. Double-click it to open. In Windows 7 or Windows Vista, click the Start button, then click Computer. When the Explorer window opens, make sure Computer is selected in the left. We can access the Map Network Drive function through the Open Computer window. In Windows 8, click the Computer tab, then click the Map Network Drive icon. In Windows 7 and in Windows Vista, click Map Network Drive in the menu near the top. From this point, the process is the same for any Windows operating system. First, select your preferred drive letter that is currently not assigned to a drive. In the Folder field, enter two backslashes, then the host name or IP address from the NAS device. To link to a specific folder on the NAS, Enter another backslash, then the folder name. Finally, click Finish. You should see the mapped drive appear in the drive list in Windows Explorer. If the network drive fails to connect, make sure the NAS is still powered on. You may also have to further configure the permissions for your specific network environment.